Good evening everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to be doing a, another shipping container house. I have done one of these before but it was much larger and I think it may have been a short rather than a longer video but today we are going to be doing a slightly smaller one. I'm actually going to go with a tiny house this time and it's going to be a tiny house that is still a shipping container but I'm thinking we just do it with one shipping container this time and we can do a little bit of an outside area and just make it look a little bit pretty but I'm going to go with a bit more of a warm and homey vibe this time. I think I did like Scandi last time but this time we're going to go nice and cozy and it's going to be super cute so let's crack on and build that today. So I'm using the map from the eco stuff pack obviously because this is the one that has the shipping containers. I'm going to start by just adding a small shipping container in here. I'm going to try and mimic kind of size that we've got of this one in the distance here so that it doesn't look too out of place. I'm going to go with one just literally maybe about here. I'm actually half tempted to change the terrain shape a little bit and actually add some grass in which will look a bit odd up here but I'm half tempted to make it kind of look like they've dumped a pile of dirt in and then added a shipping container and just try to make it look a little bit like more natural looking. Let's see if I'm able to do that. If it looks a bit stupid I might change it but I'm gonna see whether I can do that first just because I want to start I think getting a little bit more used to raising the terrain a bit. I do think it makes some of the builds look a lot nicer. Well that looks kind of right. I do think it could be longer. I do want this to be a tiny build though and at the moment this is still a tiny build if I made it slightly smaller it could even end up being a micro house but I think this is probably fine for now then obviously we want to go ahead and give it its color I'm thinking that we actually go with blue but it depends I think on what kind of blue we can find so I don't think there's a lot of choices okay let's go with gray instead actually I think the gray one looks a little bit nicer then obviously we need our roof on top of that and that is looking pretty good now I'm not too sure which one I'd prefer I kind of think this one looks a little bit more realistic so I'm going to go with that one then we do have an additional like 36 tiles or whatever to be able to like fiddle around and give it maybe some decking and stuff as well so what I think I'm going to do is add uh, I'm trying to think of what I could actually add I guess like a platform or something outside we do maybe something like that that kind of works I did kind of want to do like a gap on the roof as well so we could have like some kind of glass skylight so I'm going to do that just by removing that there and then removing walls you can then add a little bit of glass in just to make that skylight and for that I'm just grabbing a roof and making it fit over top and then we can just change it now I'm either thinking we can do it like that or we could do it there's another method where we use the other roof which is using this one I think this one might look a little bit better to be honest and then I'm just going to make it as flat as possible there we go we've then got our tiny skylight in the top then for the section over here I did kind of want to include like some kind of overhang so that we had a cover for this area I don't really know whether there's any that exists like like that already there are a few that might work so we've got this one which looks a little bit newer a bit more modern we've got this one which I always really like because I just think it looks like really boho and really cute I think I might use this one if we grab it in black and we could just add it there I might lower it a little bit actually so it's a bit more in line there we go and that then creates this glorious shadow as well and we get that gorgeous nice light inside as well from the glass I do want this to feel like it's a bit more of a permanent fixture though so I am gonna add some beams I think too I'm just going to add like little ones like this I think. We didn't really change any of the outside like colours so let's go in and do that. So I did want it to look like it was a big pile of dirt that then had some grass growing on top so let's just go with the dirt first I think and then we can sort it out at. So I'm going to go with a much softer palette I think and then if we just go around like this. It does weirdly already have its own edges to it which I'm not a big fan of. I don't really know why they're this colour. But that does kind of look like they have just dumped a bunch of minerals and dirt onto the ground. We're going to do it over here with our little risen set well that looks about right I think maybe got a little bit more coming down here but yeah that's about right then I wanted to go over the top and just add some grass so that it looks like it's kind of growing back I find the right grass because that grass is not nice I want this to feel very rustic but also like pretty at the same time like pretty rustic just adding a few different sort of shades in to make it have a bit more of a realistic feeling about it and we can go in with some slightly more toned grass I think something like this yeah I think that's looking pretty good it does kind of look like it has just been placed on top of there. I think once we start adding some plants and things in there it should look a lot better. I think I'm just going to go with sort of darker wooden kind of feeling for the rest of this front section and maybe even a little path going around. The only issue is if I think if I do a path it's going to end up counting it in my tiles and we don't have a lot of tile. I might have to make the path out of something else. We also need I think some stairs that lead us down this weird little ramp thinking we could just do them like here or here kind of works and then we can do a path that goes around this front section maybe. Yeah I think 
that should be fine. Kind of want like something over here, like a hot tub or something, but I don't know if that's going to fit with our rustic kind of feeling. Let's see what kind of different hot tubs there are. But we do have this one, which that's kind of cool. Problem is wherever we put it, it's going to be floating, I think. Yeah, they're all floating, so I might have to level it off a bit more. I'm thinking what I could do as well is potentially build something around it. Maybe we could leave it. Maybe we don't need a hot tub. I was just thinking of additional things that we could add in. I think I kind of want some back section here as well to give some privacy because at the minute this is a very open house. So I was thinking something like this but it's not tall enough to be able to reach the ceiling. So what I might have to do is just do a wall. Okay yeah that actually doesn't look that bad. So I'm just going to make a little messy path with these. There we go. I think that doesn't look too bad. I might change the colour of the stairs but for now that looks okay. We'll add a few more leading down from here and then we'll just lead it coming out of the bottom here and round the corner a little bit. Okay I think that looks fine. I just want to add some bits of dirt just kind of coming around where we've placed these just because that is where you're walking. I couldn't find anything that works so I'm going to go with just this thing again and then we'll cover it with another pillar. There we go that kind of works. I think I'm going to add some planters just to make it a little bit more usable and then we can go in with some plants and things I think just to make it look a little bit nicer because at the minute it's very barren of anything other than the grass. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe add some trees in there. I'm going to add one to this section over here as well. I don't want to add like a lot of trees so I think two is probably fine. Definitely want some grass and things in there, maybe some flowers like this. Add some planters in there as well, just outside of this main container. Again, I added a few bits around the back as well. That's looking a little bit nicer now. I'm going to add maybe just like a little bit more greenery, but I'm pretty happy with how this is coming along. Let's add in our doors and windows next thing. So I am tempted by a big open door like this one, just so that we can really get that natural light into the shipping container. But I just feel like it's just a little bit too big. Thinking something like this actually looks quite nice. So let's go with that one. Then obviously we need windows. So I'm thinking we just do two or maybe three windows around this side. I want them to just be a very square basic windows. Actually a big fan of these ones just because they do stick out a little bit. So I might do two of those, but that does make me want to change the door. I don't even know if maybe making them it slightly darker would actually be better. Something like that, or we can make it brown. I mean, the brown does match with this brown down here. So I don't really mind it as much. I think this maybe needs to be placed a little bit neutral though. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Let's then do our front little section over here. Sticking to our more rustic theme, I think I'm going to go with these lights here just because these are very pretty and quite rustic. So I'm just going to add two of those either side of the door. Almost forgot we do also need our mailbox, which I think I'm just going to add like down here. I think I'll go with this one because this one's quite pretty. And I'll just add it there before you get up the steps. Then I do want some decorations on this back part as well. And then I think I'm going to add some seating down. Part of me is tempted to add these herbs just because they do look kind of cool and they bring a bit of light into this, but it might be a bit cottagey. See what else that they have. I'm going to add these, I think, a little bit further round just on this side here so that there is something around the back. Yeah, let's go with those. I think that's fine. And then I want to do a little welcome mat as well before you enter house. Yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. Then finally, let's add in our chest. Obviously, in terms of rustic, there's a few different ways we could go about this. We could either go with something like this or a classic like rocking chair would also work, but then it's feeling a little bit too country. We've also got just like these ones, which I quite like these ones from the holiday packs. I'm going to go with these, I think. Just add a couple of those outside. Color wise, I think I'm going to go with these ones just because the blue was a little bit off. Okay, so I think that's actually pretty good for our outside area. I'm going to move on to the inside now. But obviously, we need to add a few more lights in and things. It's looking a little bare. I'm going to add an another one of these I think somewhere else I don't really know where I want to add it though maybe on this side and then I think we do need some kind of smaller window over on this side where we've got bathroom or actually I am tempted to add this one in it anyway we can just add some curtains and stuff as that is the bathroom on that side so this is our bathroom here I'm gonna just do it like this I think we've then got our kitchen on this side and then we've got a very open plan think of it like sort of like a studio and we can have our bed on this side over here so let's add in our lights because that's quite important so we can actually see what we're building then I'm thinking we'll go something like this so that we have a nice warm light in there then we could just go with something like this for the bathroom we don't really need a warm light in the bathroom for our door I think we just go with something simple like that I can either put it there or here but I think here might be a little bit better then obviously we need our walls so I am tempted to go with it just the same as that on the inside but I don't think that would look very good so let's go with something else even just like wood might be a little bit better this also somewhat works because it kind of looks like they've made this they've like obviously 
made this cab like this storage unit like thing themselves like the shipping container they've kind of like created it and made it into a home so something like this actually kind of works the problem is it's quite dark but i do kind of like it i think it sort of works so we'll do that in all of the rooms then for our floor i think we can just go with simple wood then i'm wondering whether it's a little bit too wood heavy I do have this as an alternative which is just tiling and i think that actually does look pretty nice and i think it'd be quite easy to put down so it makes sense that they would use it for this i think i'm going to start with we'll start with our bathroom which is going to be quite easy i'm thinking we do the toilet and sink uh, actually yeah we'll do the toilet and sink on this side and then we'll do a shower on that side and again i think we go with something a bit more rustic we can go with something like that and i think that works as well because we don't have this side part I go with a gray toilet just to mix it up a little bit and then let's choose our sink i'm thinking something like this is obviously is a little bit more diy i think that does actually pretty that goes pretty well i think we still need our curtains and everything over on this side so let's go grab some curtains obviously we don't have a lot of space so it would be good if we can get ones that look a little bit like they're not at in the way so something like this would work a bit better although i do really like these curtains just because then it does leave some bits open to us and obviously it does sort of add a bit to the room because it drapes down as well i don't know it's a little bit too fancy no i actually think it's fine i'm gonna keep those but i'm gonna move it for now just because i want to put some items onto this section here obviously add a little bit more decoration there a mirror behind there and then we do have this side which i'm gonna add some towels to to think these ones i'm gonna add two of those actually i guess there's only one person living there we could probably we deal with one this is where we can now start decorating this little windowsill i'm gonna to have to do it from the outside and basically what we're just gonna do is use alt 9 in order to raise it up and then eventually it'll come through like this so i'm just gonna add some random bits of storage and maybe some plants and stuff as well just gonna make it look like it's being used for basically just a lot of clutter i think i'm actually gonna put this thing in there as well all right and how does that look yeah that looks pretty good i mean some of it's gonna be hidden anyway sadly the really nice like pretty thing here is gonna be hidden so i might just go in and change that so that it's a little bit further over like here and then just so that it looks good from the outside i'm going to add some plants i think that looks good and then we can then add this back yeah it definitely looks like it's being used so that's fine let's then move over to here and we can do our kitchen next so obviously for this kitchen it's going to be very tight we do not have a massive amount of space here so i'm going to have to basically do it so it's reaching all the way around this corner here i think i actually need to move this more over this side and i might have to do the same with this even though it'll be slightly off on an angle like it doesn't perfectly align in the middle but i think we're gonna have to deal i think i kind of want to put the bed in first actually just so that we have an idea of what the bed looks like and how much space it takes up as we're going a little bit more rustic i think a bed like this works quite well the, i don't know how well it actually matches the colors actually it matches the colors outside quite well so that's fine obviously we need the curtains but like i said before i kind of want to fill all of the gaps in first and then we can go in so i'm gonna add a cute little alarm clock i think just behind the bed we can pop that maybe like here obviously we're gonna do some plants as well then i might even do just like a little lamp on this side or we could just do maybe a couple of candles that'd be kind of nice i mean it's kind of dangerous but it's it's fine this is a game yeah that looks pretty cute then let's have a look at this section over here so we've obviously got this big open window i'm not too sure what i actually want to put there thinking we could do some plants on one side and maybe even kitchen stuff on the other just because it is very close to the maybe just like some stuff like this or actually this is quite nice where it's just a glass i might actually put that on the other side though so glass and some ice yeah that looks good we could add like this cute little coffee set that would work yeah that looks good cool so that's all of those bits obviously we do have a bit more space over here i think i might add some books actually yeah okay i think that looks pretty good then obviously we need our curtains so let's see what kind of curtains we can get that doesn't kind of completely cover up these gorgeous like shelf windows that we think i'm gonna go with these curtains because i haven't really used them before they're not exactly rustic but i think they do look quite nice and i think they kind of work in this room i'm gonna go with these darker brown ones as well so they kind of blend in a bit better yeah i think that looks pretty nice and then we'll do the same on this side and probably do it on the other side the only issue that i have with that actually though is that it's very samey all the way around so i know i at least want to do it on both sides here but i might change what we do on this back window so kind of like this one but i want it a little bit higher so i think i'm gonna use that if we move this temporarily we can then add these in a little bit higher yeah that should yeah that looks pretty good i like that cool so now 
we've kind of got the idea of where those things are size wise obviously we do have these curtains which might cut into one of the side kitchen cabinets but let's have a look and just see whether they do something i was considering as well was putting a fridge there which obviously if we did it looks like it shouldn't cut into the bed at all but i think it's fine i might alternatively here for our cabinets i'm thinking something a bit warmer like this works pretty well so i'm going to do two there and then a corner then i did want to put an additional one there but it does cut into this curtain which is incredibly annoying if i did a side one would it still cut into it yeah but not as much so i might go with that the only issue then is that we have nowhere to have a sink or anything which is kind of annoying an alternative is actually that we pick a small stand sink and actually just put it at the end over here let's see if that works so we've got the little one like this which actually works quite well i do actually kind of like that there i just wish that the color matched a little bit nicer i think i'm just gonna have to deal with the slight color difference it's honestly not that bad i do like that obviously it matches up with these drawers which is perfect and obviously one of these is gonna have to have our oven and things in it as well but let's grab our fridge i'm tempted to go with this one just because it does have that kind of like brown outline that fits with the room quite well but i'm not too sure of it then just looks a little bit too industrial i'm gonna go with this one just because the wood on the handles matches the wood behind it obviously then we do need our oven and things as well i think that one is the one that matches with our fridge there i want to do some up like storage and things as well just so that we have extra storage in this place because obviously it's quite small and i think to obviously make the place not feel too small we're going to go with these like shelves instead and we can stretch these over and i'm not going to do them all the way over to this side where the sink is i think i'll just uh, i think i'd rather it be in this nice brown though this is i'm trying to wonder out if this is looking a little bit too modern on the inside to be fair it's a, a little bit of a clash i don't think it looks too bad i think it's just maybe these shelves are making it look a little bit modern i think if we start sticking a lot of items on it though and once we start filling in this kitchen it should be better and obviously as this is literally just a shipping container i'm gonna put this fan in instead and that will be the way that we get the fumes out of this room okay so i've added some additional decorations to these top sections up here now i'm just going in and fixing up some of our cabinet areas here on the main workspace i've added some clutter to the walls as well and then i think that's our kitchen looking pretty nice so the last bits that we've got i want to put some side tables next to the bed and then obviously i want a sort of dining area over here so i think we go with something like that for our table and for our chairs i think something a bit simpler like that kind of works then i'm just going to add some little flowers to the table i'm going to add a picture i think behind it as well i think something like this weirdly works even though i think this is meant to be for a bar but i actually kind of like it in this place so let's do our last bit which is going to be these side tables next to the bed obviously i don't want to go too posh so something a bit in the middle would be better i think i'm actually going to do one side table and then maybe a wardrobe or something like a skinny one up this side i think this one's quite good so i'm going to add that one there and then we'll just add a little side table over find one that maybe matches that one actually i think i'm going to go with a black one instead oh does that look a little bit too fancy no i actually think it's fine let's try and match the side table then well actually this one kind of works because it's got both types of wood on it yeah i kind of like that then let's add a couple of bits to that side table so i think let's add maybe a plant and a lamp so we grab a small plant something like this is fine i have used it on the dining table so i might change that one but that one's fine for here then we can grab maybe this slightly more rustic yeah that looks pretty good then i'm going to change the plant that's over here as well i think i'm just going to add some flowers instead yeah that's looking pretty good so i think we're all done then with our shipping container house and there is our shipping container house done i actually really like how this came out i think i did struggle a little bit to keep with it looking a bit rustic on the inside but i think it's got a few bits and it definitely kind of looks like it was handmade by someone who obviously wanted to kind of craft that shipping container into a home i like that it managed to keep with the tiny build size and it still looks really nice with the little cobble all the way down the little hill that it's on and i really like that it has planters as well so that you can actually grow things let me know what you think of this build in the comments below this build is called slice of home on the gallery under id hextra hunt be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already i post long content like this weekly and i try to post shorts as well if you enjoyed this video that is another recommended video on the screen now so check that one out too and i hope you all have a great evening